it's the movie space. Uh, Sunil Lulla, group CEO at Balaji Telefilms, is now with us. So let's start with Old Balaji. Uh, you know your competitors like Netflix, Amazon Prime, Hotstar in the in the online business. Uh, you know uh, are, are you know giving out good content along with what you are giving. What sort of growth are you seeing? How are you managing market share gains and increasing subscriber base in such high competitive environment? Well, I think All Balaji has more original exclusives, which is its proposition, than any other player in the market space. Our subscriber numbers continue to grow. This is a fastly changing dynamic market where we have seen the category growth. There is no publicly available source of data which talks or measures. But in the last 10 months, we have been always amongst the top five in the OTT space on all app stores, be it iOS or Google. And I think the growth lies ahead of us. It's been stupendous. We have 30 original exclusives out there, all binge worthy, all binge viewing. And with I would believe is the highest average time spent per viewer. Recently mentioned that you don't see the TV screens fading in India like what happened in US and some of the other Western countries. What is your view on that front? Could you repeat that question, please? You have recently mentioned saying that you don't see TV screens fading in India. What has happened, uh, you know, in some of the other Western countries? Yeah, India is going to land up being a market of two screens for the simple reason that access to television is still at a very, very reasonable price. 90% uh, of the homes are single TV homes. 88% of the viewing is together with the family. So it's a very big market over there and they are not going to simply switch in and switch out if you look at a five-year horizon. What we see is the phenomenal growth of the OTT space which is happening both on mobile as well as on other devices and these screens are going to coexist. Why? Because the nature of content consumption on TV and the nature of content consumption on OTT and I speak with a reference to context to the subscription space that we believe in is very very different. Individuals have very different needs. Alt Balaji caters to those needs on its app Alt Balaji and Balaji caters to the mass needs of TV viewing which is together family viewing or or friends and family viewing together which is on TV screen and does so equitably well on both the screens. So we believe that both these screens will coexist. Hi Sunil, uh, good afternoon. This is Nenta I arrived from New Delhi. Thanks for being here on the show Markets at Noon. Now in 2017 you received about, about 400 crore rupees uh, from Rel Geo as investments. At the same time you're talking about the two screens uh, coexisting, the television and the digital screen. Uh, Mukesh Ambani, I think, has repeatedly said data is the new oil. Now, Rel Geo has massive plans for the gigafiber uh, broadband pilot, uh, uh, you know, uh, tests are going on. What will all of this mean for Alt Balaji? Well, good afternoon. Uh, I think the good part of the investments that a company like Reliance is doing into India is that it's really enabled access which is big, which is what's driven data consumption. What's changed in 2018 over say 2017 and 2016 is a huge surge in video consumption. We are a beneficiary of that as we see more people adopting Alt Balaji, watching content over there. We know through our multiple partners and our own app that there is binge viewing happening over there. A habit is coming into place. Our responsibility as a valuable content creator and as well as a, a, a content server over there is to ensure that we can continue to give the steady state of binge viewing content that consumers need. There are two different screens over there. People who like to watch it alone, younger people largely on the OTT space have a different content, need a different story. Those who want to watch at home, which is a different content story. We have the ability to create for both those screens and the ability for create for cinema and that's what we're focused on regardless of screen we tell great stories you're telling great stories uh, but uh, Sunil how do you plan to grow on that is it only going to be the subscription model that you have at the moment uh, predominantly about 300 rupees a year are you looking at other ways as well because in all of this is expensive too to create new content It's an investment business. You know, you don't call an investment business expensive or cheap, right? You're building a category over here. Uh, our view is that uh, 
between the pool of B2C which is our subscribers and B2B2C which is all our various partners there is a very clear pathway laid out for us to have economic and commercial success and we are well on that path of making economic and commercial success now the fundamental difference between an AWOD business and an SWOT business is that in an SWOT business consumers expect higher quality of content, premium content uh, a lot better told narrative over there in advertising the content could also be in shorter formats we have chosen one pathway to build our business and I think we've been successful so far. We have reasons to believe that that's a strong foundation that we are laying for the future. Sunil, I'm going to make this my final question. As we head into 2019, uh, uh, you know, Alt Balaji has done, what, uh, 29 uh, web series so far. This is also a year where you've seen Amazon and Netflix uh, really up the ante, whether it's uh, Sacred Games by Netflix or even Mirzapur by Amazon, which have done well. What can we expect from you? And uh, did you like Sacred Games and uh, Mirzapur? Well, I think they were expensive productions. Uh, they were engaging to a bit. Sacred Games was, in my personal opinion. Not all of it. I think some of the content uh, is what it is. That's really their choice. So we, we, we will close December with our 30th original exclusive launch. We have more than 40 active productions out there. Uh, we have 20 others which are now going to get into production. We have got enough book rights purchased. I think we have our hands full in terms of content which we are going to put out there. It's going to be larger volume, better stories. We have some really good surprises lined up for our consumers. Uh, which we will bring forward in the quarter two of next year. Always a pleasure chatting with you. Thanks so much for being candid and uh, here's wishing you all the very best for 2019.